So I would, I would like to talk about uh, a, a new block that we have worked on here. Um, we've been very enthusiastic about abdominal wall blocks. They made a huge impact on our ERAS protocols and on our patients. We started with the laparoscopic tap blocks, and I want to take you a little bit through the journey to, to get to, to the new block. And we've heard about why lap tap blocks were so widely adopted, because they're easy, they're quick, and they were effective. But the problem was they were inconsistent when performed by surgeons. And I, this was brought home to me when one of our GYN surgeons said, oh, I don't do my taps, they're much better when anesthesia does them. And the difference was between doing the lap tap with the technique that Dr. Hange saw you and the fact that anesthesia was using ultrasound and you've seen all the reasons why ultrasound is more accurate. However, not all the anesthesia staff are, are as fabulous as Dr. V and as Adam Jacob and so, not everyone likes doing blocks. So we wanted to figure out how we could make our blocks more effective and more consistent and reliable for our patients. Another issue is that um, if it's not the surgeon doing the block, then there's either prep time ahead to do the block in the block room or at the beginning of the case, or re-prepping and draping at the end of the case. And I wanted to try to find something that we could still do ourselves and would not take a significant amount of time. So still doing the lap tap, we tried adding a lap rectus. Uh, and this is going back a couple of years and we were gradually accumulating this knowledge that you've already seen presented by Dr. Hange and Dr. Birasan about, well, taps are really only effective for T10 and below. So for many of our laparoscopic colon patients, that was sufficient. But if the periumbilical incision that we used for extraction of the colon extended more than a smidge above the umbilicus, well, maybe that was the reason why our lap taps weren't working, because the taps only work to an upper level of T10, which is variably within a few centimeters above the umbilicus. So then we use the ultrasound, as has been mentioned, a learning curve of five cases. And that was definitely better. But in the interim, Dr. V had done a quadratus lumborum block on one of the colorectal surgery patients, and they had zero pain postoperatively. 